Oh, I just realized before this video starts, let me just... New frames. What do you think? So, hey, everybody. Hi, I am... <laughs> I'm alive. How you doing? <laughs> so before we continue, I have notes on my screen on what I want to talk about. So if you see me stumbling and mumbling like a moron, I am unscripted. I just have baseline notes. So yeah, let's uh, do it. And yes, I have a second monitor. I am tapping it right now. That should not be there. Let me just... Now, if you guys have noticed, I have not been posting on YouTube in like... I haven't posted anything in like two months. The last video that I uploaded was uh, the V's Very Hard Hell video. And the reason why that was a thing was because I had leftover footage from the Cyberpunk 2077 video. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just, let's do something fun with it. That's That was my thought. And I did. I put far too much time in it to the point where 1.5 came out while this video was being, while that video was being made. So that was a thing. If you guys like it, please go watch it. I put way too much friggin' time into that video. If you guys have noticed, I have been putting, I've been slowly putting less focus into YouTube. I'm sure you guys may have noticed this. If you want to know why I'm putting less focus on YouTube, it's because it's not fun to upload anymore on YouTube. It's kind of like more, it's more corporate. I, I want to think YouTube's like the LinkedIn of social media, I want to say. Not really, but still. It, feels like it like you kind of have to be professional and stuff like that but then there's me who just wants to do his own thing without getting killed by youtube even though i'm a spec on their radar but hey this is coming from someone who actually had ads rolling on one of his gta videos because you know take two decided to copyright claim not, not claim it was copyright strike one of my older gta videos so that's why i've been very careful about that ever since Another reason as to why I'm putting less focus on YouTube is because there's dumb changes that really still irk me, you know? Removing the dislike counter was one thing that I'm just never gonna let that go because that was a very useful tool that is being just gutted completely from the site. And of course, there was also a ton of other changes, not just from YouTube's end, but also like, it's just dumb shit that I really don't want to be a part of. Especially involving like false copyright strikes because I'm like because if I upload a video on something and it gets stricken down then at that point But hey because I'm putting less focus on YouTube. I get to be a bit more reckless on that front Meaning I get to cover some stuff that is a little on the Iffy side I want to say <laughs> a little controversial. I don't know I don't know if you want to call it controversial when in my in my eyes. It's a bit tame now that I'm putting more of a focus on Odyssey, which is actually where most of my content is still going up, I'm still going to post exclusive content. It'll always be free. Invite links will throw some support my way. The videos will be uncensored and they'll be archived forever. And then y you get the rest. You get the rest. I'm going to be pushing Odyssey a little bit more. I'm going to be promoting it a bit more. So if you guys want to watch my stuff there, please do. This video is going up on both sites. So please be on the lookout for that. Oh, and also on YouTube, I will no longer be censoring curse words. This is mostly to keep things a little, it's gonna make the workflow a little bit easier for me. Meaning I can be as creative as the nerd in terms of cuss words and I won't have to worry about anything really. There you go. It's mostly because very hard hell, I had to censor not only the curse words being said, but I also had to censor the subtitles because I had subtitles on. Aside from that, that's kind of it on the YouTube front. And speaking of another video platform, I don't know if that was an awful fucking segue. I am back on Twitch. Yeah, uh, surprise, I guess. It's not really a surprise, but I have my reasons for returning to Twitch. And if you want to know what the Twitch account is, it's in the description below. It is twitch.tv slash vertical jade. Same account that I've had for years. I just changed its name a while ago. And the reason why I'm returning to Twitch, even though my original plan was to stream on YouTube, it was to stream on my second channel, Green Boy Plus. However, all the tools are being developed for Twitch. That's a shame, to be honest, because I kind of want to, kind of want to use some of the tools that are kind of 
being used. Especially since I've prepped a couple things for some streams in case, like, shit hits the fan. So, yeah, I'm back on Twitch because everyone's developing for Twitch. So, when it comes to my scheduling, I'll try to stream on a, on Mondays and Fridays. Not every week, in case, in case shit hits the fan where I can't stream on those days. I at least have the flexibility. I, I want to have, like, a bit of flexibility in knowing that I don't have to stream on those days in case I'm busy on those days or in case shit hits the fan and I can't stream. But either way, there you go. It's, it's, I just kind of want to bring some flexibility into this kind of thing. Oh yeah, and also, uh, VODs are not going to be uploaded onto Twitch. They're not going to be stored there. They are going to be stored on my second channel 24 hours after I go live. And speaking of my second channel, I actually spoke about Green Boy Plus earlier. And that, that's actually where it's going to go. But another thing I want to talk about is I will be retiring the name Green Boy Plus on my second channel. So I've, when it comes to the name Green Boy, I've had that name for close to 13 years. I'm not joking. 13 years. That's a very long time to have that name. And the name Vertical Jade, spelled spelled like this, not like that. Um, it was it took inspiration from Moist Critical, and thing was, this was not my idea, it was a friend of mine's idea. I loved it so much that I decided to change my Twitch at first, and then I thought about it more and more, I looked at the name Green Boy Plus, and like, first off, I haven't used that channel in a long time, and second, the name just sounds like a shitty subscription service that costs like 15 bucks a month. You know, or it's like it charge or no, it charges 10 bucks a month for four, 480 P video or some other crap. However, I'm going to say this now. This is only for Green Boy Plus. Uh, the name Green Boy will still remain for both Twitter and Odyssey because changing the names are kind of a pain in the ass. So my second channel is going to be renamed to Vertical Jade. It's going to be a slow process of changing the name, changing the art, changing everything. But I promise you, it will all be worth it. Anyway, I guess that's kind of it, really. That's kind of all the stuff I wanted to talk about. Don't mind me looking at this screen here. I'm looking at my notes just to make sure that, you know, I'm talking about everything I want to talk about. And I think I did. I think I talked about everything I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, one other thing. Um, there's some big stuff coming to Odyssey. I'm not going to reveal that at this moment in time, but maybe eventually. Maybe eventually, once it gains some traction, and once it's a certain way done, then I'll do it. But right now, uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Now, uh, what's the next thing I got to do before I go? Like, just maybe blow the... I don't know, this little party horn. I don't know, let's go... It's a fucking party horn!